Welcome back to my Mythic Mobs for Starters playlist tutorial. Here in part 4 we're going to be covering some of the AI options. At the end of part 1 you'll remember that we had a specific thing called Faction. We'll be covering that in this tutorial. Let's go ahead and take this here. I'm going to copy and paste it down. So what we have are AI target modifiers and AI goal modifiers. Target modifiers are going to dictate what the mob itself is attacking. It takes it in a priority manner, meaning the higher the number, or the lower the number, the more it's going to prioritize it, I do believe anyway. So starting off, if you want custom AI, the first thing you're always going to want to do is type dash space zero space clear. That's going to be the first one it reads. Next, we're going to want to add maybe one, uh, let's go ahead and say players. Essentially, this is just the default zombie AI target modifier. Or, sorry, let's go ahead and switch this here. This is supposed to say selectors, not modifiers. Okay. So now I'm going to open up a web page that has a list of all the possible selectors on them. I will have a link to this in the description below. So we started with target selectors. Here we have a couple of sections that will talk about it. So what you can do, we're going to have clear here, which is what we started off with. As you can see in the little example here, they started with clear as well. Next you're going to have any list of whatever type you want. You can make your mob attack other monsters. You can have it attack players, villagers, golems, etc. I believe animals is a valid option as well, but I can't exactly say I remember at the moment. Or, if you remember at the end of our first tutorial how we had the faction zombies, what you can do here too is you can add other faction um, by itself. So if we were to say, um, let's remove players and replace that with other faction. That would cause the zombie to attack any other mob. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy and paste all of this. Um, we're going to name this Legion 2, and we're going to give this a bigger display name so we can see. Uh, we're going to disable the boss bar so that way we don't get confused with that. And we're going to put this in a different faction, which we are going to call um, Bad Guy. So if we set the AI target selectors to clear, let's go ahead and save that. Uh, let's turn off no AI, I forgot to mention that. We're going to set that to false because now we have our own AI that we want it to follow. And we're also going to set its movement speed down to uh, default again. I believe that's all that we want to mess with now. So let's go ahead and reload. Okay, so let's kill our mob here. And spawn him in. Right now he's trying to attack me because he doesn't have anything else to target. However, if I spawn in our other mob here, Legion 2, if I spawn Legion in again, by default he should start targeting the other mob. As you can tell, this one's kind of being a pain in the butt because actually I couldn't tell you why for sure. However, Legion is now attacking Legion number 2 because in our AI, we decided we wanted to have it target any mob in any other faction. Technically, we as players are in our own faction as well. If you don't want it to attack players, what you can do is add monsters. Or you can even specify a different faction by typing in specific faction, and then whatever the name of the faction is. Same with monsters. The big difference between specific faction and specific faction monsters 
is that this will only target monsters in that faction, instead of animals or villagers or golems. This will just target literally anything at all that has a different faction to it. So we're going to use this one here, Specific Faction Monsters. And we're going to go ahead and copy that, and we're going to put that in here instead. We decided we wanted our second legion to be considered bad guy, so we're going to type that in right after bad guy. Kill legion. We're going to reload. And we're going to spawn him in. Spawn legion. Legion 2. And as you can see, he didn't target us this time, instead he just went straight for Legion number 2. That's the gist of the factions, and all that you really need to know about it. There's not a whole lot that it really messes with beyond AI target selectors. Next is AI goal selectors. By default, mobs are always going to try and attack you. Depending on what type of mob it is, it may use a different attack. For example, there's spider attack here for spiders, leap at target for wolves, and there is another one called melee attack, which is somewhere in here. There it is. Melee attack, which is the default for zombies. You can have other things too, such as avoid. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to make our first one set to zero, clear, and next one is going to be avoid zombies. Oops, I forgot to add the thing there. Let's go ahead and kill him off and spawn him in again. Actually, what we're going to do, we're going to spawn Legion 2 right here because he is the one with no AI currently. And with Legion, we specified that we wanted him to avoid zombies. So we're going to go ahead and spawn him in. He's, he's a little bit confused right now because we have him set to target other monsters, but we're also telling him to avoid it. Try to avoid having a void as a goal selector and making your mob want to target that monster. So what we're going to do is just set target selectors to clear. We're going to reload, we're going to kill legion. It's recommended that you make mobs of different names because anything that has legion in it will also be killed, but I just copy pasted for the sake of this tutorial. So now it should work correctly. So here's legion, and here's legion 2. And well. Maybe I didn't take that in right. Maybe I did. So for some reason it doesn't appear to be working. However, it will work with other mobs. I have tested it and pro uh, proved it myself. But basically, f um, feel free to mess around with everything on here. As you can see, there are many, many options for you to play around with. I'm not going to be doing them all, but this is essentially how you set it up. You're just going to have, uh, have it start with clear, and then you're going to add whatever else you want after it. That's all I have for this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for any of the uh, videos that will be following this tutorial. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with in the future.